Fred Marple here with some advice for non-sports fans. You know, it is a big weekend for sports fans in New England. If you don't know why, then this message is especially for you. Now, those of you who are sports fans, you probably don't realize that there's a lot of folks out there, well, a few anyway, who couldn't give a rat's patootie about sporting events. If you are one of the folks that's like that, then I have some advice for you about the upcoming uh, event this weekend. Now, my remarks will be directed towards the Super Bowl coming up, but they really can apply to just about any major sporting event. Now, there are two stages to my advice here. The first stage involves the day of the event itself. On that day, you really don't have to worry. You can do pretty much anything you want because the rest of the world will be indoors watching the game on TV. If you uh, need to purchase any major appliances or anything like that, this might be a good day to go shopping. Now, the true test comes after the event, and you might be uh, in conversation with somebody. Now, typically, after a regular sporting event, they might say something like, did you see the game last night? But in this case, they will say, what would you think of the game? Assuming automatically that, of course, like everybody else in the world, you watched the game. Now, you have a, a couple of options here. First of all, if you've done a little bit of homework in advance, it probably would be wise to know what the game was and which teams were playing and who won. But I don't expect any of you folks who aren't interested to go to that much trouble. So what you have to do is you have to sort of gauge the face of the person who asked you the question. If they are kind of down and dismayed when they ask you what you think of the game, you can assume that the home team lost. Or if they say it in an upbeat manner, you can assume that they won. Doesn't matter. Either way, when they say, what you think of the game, you should respond, weren't that something? Now, after that, there's a couple of things that can happen. They will probably mention a few highlights of the game. These may be positive highlights, in which case you say something like, Wow, that was amazing! Or, Boy, who'd have thunk it? If they say something negative about the game, you should say one of two things. That stinks! Or, Who'd have thunk it? Now, at some point in this process, you may be asked to give an opinion about something that happened in the game, or in the unlikely event that our team should lose, you might be asked to explain this disaster. At this point, you should look kind of serious at your friend, and you should say, you know what the problem is, don't you? At this point, he or she will jump in and say something like, It's the defense! Or, They ain't got any pitching! Or something like, They should never run a split end off the side when they got a wingman going down the aisle or some other technical gibberish that you don't understand. Don't matter what they say, at this point you should say, Exactly! Now, at this point, you may have run out of things to say, and your best option is just to close the conversation kind of quick, like remembering that you have wood to stack or oil to change or some other manly occupation that can get you out of there. The missus and I, personally, are skipping the whole thing this year. We are down south here on another one of our fact-finding missions for the town of Frost Chiefs and trying to pick up ideas of how to improve our town. So, unfortunately, we will be missing the big game, sitting around with all the guys and enjoying the snacks, like Mabel Pillsbury's famous chocolate chip crab dip. Oh, you don't want to miss that. Anyway, to all you sports fans, and you non-sport fans, hope you enjoy.